Hi, Chow. Hi, Lee. Hi, Caroline. Hello, Kiki. Hello, Bernie. Yes, I have peeps. They make me feel better. Hello, Susan. Let me turn some lights on. That is correct. Just came back from the store. Peeps were on sale. Um, I had to go to the grocery store just for a couple of things, but um, the grocery store was not bad at all. I was like in and out, no big deal there. Um, then I went to Lowe's, which is across the street, because I wanted to get some, some um, potting soil so I could plant a couple flowers in the front yard. And lo and behold, Lowe's, the whole $40 I spent, took me longer to get in and out of Lowe's than it did the grocery store. So, yeah. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Kim. Looking at the items on the back of your desk, so excited that you use them. Oh, these uh, Spectrum Noir sparkle pens. These, I mean, sparkle inks. Hi, Judy. I have a whole bunch coming. Yes, Kim. Hi, Margaret. Well, I was trying to make this rainbow background yesterday, and it rainbowed itself out. It looks terrible. Ooh, it looks like a jellyfish. My nails are naked. <laughs> Because Linda's sending me, I bought those Color Street things from Linda. So, plus I had ink all over my fingers. I still have ink on my fingers. So, I, I pulled them all out. Don't look at them. <laughs> HSN. I got these from HSN. I know. We all have a love-hate relationship with HSN right now. Mm-hmm. What? Get what? What, what? Um... Hello, Catherine. Hey, Judy. Uh, speaking of cards, this is the card I got from Chow. All the way from California. And she did a very good job at coloring this rose. And it's got shimmer. Can you see the shimmer in there? Plus the background. Put all these beautiful gems on there. So thank you, Chow. It is beautiful. I appreciate it. I know the shipping thing, but I, I, they sent me one of those $10 off coupons. So I used it and I bought a whole bunch of more stuff. I probably don't need, but I bought it anyway. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Tran. <laughs> All right, so I am a little late because I did go to the store and I did go to Lowe's because I needed to get out of the house and just take a five-minute breather. Um, I was furloughed today. Tomorrow will be my first day out of work. Um, so that means you guys are stuck with me for a little bit, but it's only for two weeks. I go back to work um, May 4th. So in the meantime, I have some home... Um, Projects I need to do as you guys know I need two new doors on the house. My deck needs to be um, Fixed it's you know for safety um, So I'm gonna get those things done. I was thinking about looking at a new um, Patio set maybe so it's I'm very thankful because it is only two weeks Yeah, Jennifer me too. Jennifer. Do we work for the same company? <laughs> um so um, it's only for two weeks. I'm grateful because I get to keep my benefits, which is a huge concern with me having kids. So I'm just looking at it as an extended vacation. I get to take myself and the kids fishing. I'm hoping to get my boat in the water. 
get some things done around the house. So I am not in terrible spirits about it. Um, and like I said before, it's only money. Oh, Jennifer, we are in the same business, honey. Yep. So, yeah. Tuesday morning. My Tuesday morning closed, and it was terrible anyway. So, anyway, I was going to do this uh, watercolor mess, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Did you guys see the beautiful card that um, Miss Lynn made for Blue Night Rubber Stamps? Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to, Chow. That's going to pay for my two new doors. Hello, Barbara. Did you post a link to the video on the Facebook page? I think I did. Hello, Mary from Canada. Kiki got hers today. Oh, the stimulus check. Bernie's daughter got hers. Stacy got hers. So mine's going to be messed up because my account number was wrong when I filed my taxes. I missed one digit. And so they're going to have to mail me mine. But that's okay. Like I said, it'll be, it'll come and it'll go right to the ex-husband for the two doors. So, <laughs> hi, Bonnie. Well, that's good. Um, so a video just went up from, well, didn't just go up. Speaking of just went up, oh, Luna, um, today starts the, um, yeah, I did file mine, so mine should be, should be coming. They'll just mail me a check. Um, today starts the brand new Mod Squad Challenge. I have to fix the date, but it is for two weeks, and the theme that I picked was birds. I want to see birds on your, um, whatever you're going to submit, whether it be a card or mixed media, I don't know, whatever you want to do. You can't just do an image and then throw birds in the background as an afterthought. That's not going to count. I really want to see some effort into putting birds into your cards. And remember, it's free to enter. You just submit your picture. Um, whether it's on your Facebook page or whether it's on your Instagram or your Pinterest, whatever it is, it is, uh, if, if you win, it's randomly drawn. You could win $25 gift card to kitchen sink stamps. So... I wanted to show you guys the card. Let me find it. I think I mailed it to somebody already. Oh, I do that all the time, you guys. Well, the picture of it is on Facebook. <laughs> I can't find it now. I think I might have mailed it to someone. So somebody's getting that card in the mail. I don't know who. Yep, definitely not in my pile here. So somebody out there is getting the card and it was beautiful it had lilacs on it and then it had a hummingbird in uh flying into the lilacs you can submit as many cards as you want stacy yes so stacy says can you submit more than one card um kim in alaska i am a trainer for ford like the car company. Um, yes, Ch Chow, I do have a link for Create Fabrica. Thank you for reminding me of that. I will definitely be doing more with them. I will link that for you guys. 
We just in the end link. Yes, that's right. Yeah, Bernie, you just use that end link and then it pulls your it it posts it for you. Hello, DD. Yes, Lynn's card was extremely beautiful. <laughs> no, I I go into the stores and I train the dealers. <laughs> Bonnie, I wish, right? <laughs> so I left the business of 20 years to go back into the car business. <laughs> All right, so I thought I would just get this out and we'd have a little bit of fun with it. I'm like, why does this paper feel funny? But it's that coated paper. I don't want to use that. Nothing wrong with that, chow. Hello, Denise. How are you today? I feel like my chair is super low. My hands all inky already? Oh, they are inky already. Come on. to cut this down to five and a quarter by four. This is a uh, Nina Solar White Classic Crest 80 pound card stock. Um, did you guys have any questions about the video that went up yesterday or today? Yesterday's video was with the Arteza gel markers. I think you guys are right because the markers were brand new. That may have been causing some of the blobbiness because I haven't had any issues with them. Um, and then this morning's video was using the kitchen sink stamps. I did the lilacs and the birds. So the theme is birds. So Roxanne. Oh, you're welcome, Dee Dee. I'm sorry, Mary's asking, is there any special company to use a Mod Squad Challenge? Mary, you can use whatever stamps you have as long as a bird is part of the focal image. You can't just do an image and then and then um, put some birds. So some kind of birds. And then also, if you use kitchen sink stamps birds, you get double entry into your card, just so you know. Yeah, Chow's husband said that he helped make the card that she sent me. Uh, I tried doing the card that you helped me. Oh, Terry, did that work out? Oh, I don't know, Auntie Teresa. You'll have to try that and let me know. I would assume as long as it conducts heat. Just be careful. Don't cut your fingers. Hello, Sparkle Miss. Kyle sleeping. Husband's working. Eardrop. Ear listening. Okay, I got it. Next to Chow. Wow, Gloria said her driver's ed teacher is still teaching driver's ed. She learned 50 years ago, and he taught her sons, and he's in his 80s. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, who asked yesterday if you can do the trace and cut feature on Cricut? Because somebody emailed me um, yesterday or today and said, I saw that one of your viewers asked that question. As of right now, you cannot do that on Cricut software. So I got an answer. And I think, is Miss, Miss Melanie on here? The lovely Melanie. Miss Melanie has sent me a magical present. It's not here yet, but I'm super excited to get it. And when I get it, I'll be able to do some more experiments for you, with you guys. Hello, Connie. So I tried to find the whole pack of the alloys. What? 
I didn't know HSN doesn't ship to Canada. Are you serious? I didn't know that. Um, I tried to find those those allo the Tim Holtz alloys. Um, I have not been able to find like I want the whole kit. I don't want to buy one at a time, so I'll just keep looking. Maybe we'll just do this this way. We'll just do this this way. Don't mind me talking to myself. All right, that looks good. Don't do it, Judy. Well, I'm going to move to Canada and open a craft supply store. Hello, Stephanie, darling. I showed your card yesterday that you sent to Miss Leah. Thank you so much. All right, I am just inking up with some VersaFine Claire ink. And this stamp, remember, is from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. It's a large butterfly. It's called the Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly. You get a large one and a small one. And right now, Blue Night Rubber Stamps has 20% off if you use the code 2020. Oh, that's terrible. Cause I know Judy's on a, she's on, she's trying to, uh, she's on a, uh, what do you call that? She's on a freeze right now. She said, I'm enabling her too much. <laughs> Terry says, yes, you are. Well, what do you guys think I'm going to do the next two weeks? <laughs> All right, so this is a very beautiful detailed stamp and I'm going to make it really simple. And again, I have this cut down to five and a quarter by four. So you can see how large that butterfly is. And let me get the color pencils and the gamzel out. I'm gonna just heat set this real quick just because this ink takes a second to set because it's a pigment ink. Oh, so did you guys see Stacy did um, posted the links to get the um, Ranger inks like um, templates so that you could swatch out your inks. So as I was swatching out my Distress Oxides, thank you again Kiki for starting that obsession. Um, I found out that I must be missing the last set because they aren't they sold in sets of 12. So I don't have the last set. But um, my original Distress Oxides, the ones before the lids were made tighter, you guys know last year he made all the lids tighter, Ranger did. They're starting to dry out. So I may have to buy re-inkers 
for the first set, but it seems like it's only the first set. All the rest of the sets are still nice and gooey and, and moist and um, they're fine. So I might have to indulge in some re-inkers and some of those, but I wanted to show you how pretty it is. Get a nice solid stamp and stamp those out. And now I know, oh, I just don't have the, I thought I had all of them, but I guess there was one more set released. So I'll just have to get those. But I want to show you, but I want to thank Stacy for posting that. Thank you, dear. <laughs> uh oh, I'm unplugged. So Barbara, yours does that too? Oh, I have the original ink distressor. I mean, rehydrate conditioner here. I haven't tried this in there yet. I'm telling you, one of these days I'm going to go on a field trip in New Jersey and just go looking for Ranger. Yep. If they would do a mini scan and cut, do you know that would fly off the shelves? It's not the same, Stacy. Hold on, I have two of them. Oh, nope, that's stamp cleaner. Never mind. I think it is. This is, uh, this is really old, though. <laughs> I think this is the same stuff, though. Ink refresher rehydrates without adding any more color. Suitable for pigment and dye-based ink pads. I think it's the same stuff, but they remarket it. It is Ranger, just again, because it's so very, very old. <laughs> okay, send me a pic. Yeah, if they did a mini scan and cut, everybody else would be out of business. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get my wonderful... Beautiful Arteza color pencils. Arteza's like sold out of so many things right now because everybody's at home crafting away. Like they're out of markers, they're out of um, paints. But they emailed me today. She liked the video on the gel pens. So she said, what else do you want? And honestly, guys, I don't know what else I could get from them that would be crafting related. Maybe the wood they have those little wood chip things that we can paint and make out of ornaments or something or some heat transfer vinyl or something like that. But I don't know, guys. I think we got pretty much everything out of that place. So if there's something you want to see, let me know. I saw the foam tape, too. I was thinking about the foam tape. Terry's in Canada. Sparkle Miss is in Canada, right? Who else? I know there's a couple of you out there in Canada. Okay, let's see. I think I will try to do a golden yellow butterfly. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Too soon? Too soon. Um, sunflower yellow, Tuscan sun. Yeah, let's try those. Okay, Stacy says she sent me a pic. Stacy, um, is that kind of like a little thick? Like it's not super liquidy, but it's not real thin like water. Like it has something mixed into it. 
course, it doesn't tell you what, what's in it, but I'm thinking it's probably the same stuff, but they remarketed it for, you know, like I said, mine's 20 years old. <laughs> um, Bridget, if you want something bigger than this, yes. Um, it's a little more expensive, but how's this? Is this big enough for you? Yeah, mine has something definitely in it. I want it, it's like starchy looking. So this is rather expensive, I think, but again, worth it. Now we're going off topic here. Not really, we're still talking butterflies. This is what I was trying to work on. Um, yesterday. So these, this is three different sets. These are all from the ton. They have, I think, three different types of butterflies. But this is a large butterfly that is in sections. So you get the right wing, the left wing, and that's because it's so big. If you do it on a card, it's like huge. You get the body, okay? And then it has a tiny little hello font there. And then you have two sets of die cuts that you can buy. And I can probably do a demo on this one tomorrow. Um, but the die cuts do, do something really kind of cool. I don't have one in front of me, but again, I'll demo it tomorrow. Um, you got the outline dies, which just cut the outline out. Your typical die, you can cut the wings and the body out. Okay, that's cool. But what's really cool is this other set of dies. And what this other set of dies does is it makes the butterfly wings pop out. So when you, I just cut, like if I would stamp the butterfly, I would just cut this out of black and layer this over my butterfly. But this actually makes the wings flap. So this centerpiece here, they interlock. And then you have a flapping butterfly. It's really cool, but you'll have to go check out the ton. Um, they are a little bit expensive, like I said, but they're worth it because they're really cool. Because I've never seen anything like this before. So when she um, released them, and I think they came out last summer when she released them, I was like, uh, gotta have it. How did I have these on here? I don't know. Anyway, so it's the stamp, the outline die, and then I don't know what they call this, but it's it's like a 3D movable die. Yeah, there's no name on here. So there, and there's three different types of butterflies. So I only got one. This one is the monarch one, but there's a couple different ones on there. So I just wanted to tell you that, but I was focusing on this butterfly today. <laughs> Well, good, Bridget. <laughs> Happy people. That's what I do here. All right. I am taking the lighter, which is sunflower yellow, and I'm going to kind of color in my whole butterfly here. Okay, Bridget, that's what we're here. Ooh, Sparkle Miss. I would love to have a craft room tour then. That would be pretty. See, by all you guys talking, maybe after all this is over, you can find people that are in neighboring areas and get together. Crafters Unite.
Notice I am not doing any rhyme or reason here. I'm just putting some color down. I'm kind of looking at this image to give me a little bit of guidance. And it looks like this area of the butterfly is a bluish color, so I'll have to find that. I guess I could Google some butterflies to see what it is. Okay, and then that looks like some kind of greenish blue color. Um, let me go with a brighter blue. Myconis blue, is that a Grecian color? Harry, you're going to make a map for everybody to post on? You should do that. I should put a map and, like, can we do a Google map or something and put it on our Facebook page? And for those of you that are new, our Facebook page is Foiling and Stamping Fun. And this is what we do. We just hang out every night, seven between 7 and 8 o'clock around there. All right, now I'm gonna go in with some Gamsol. I'm gonna blend out the blue a little bit. Thank you, Stacy. You guys joke about that trip. I'm I'm gonna do it one day. I'm just gonna I'm gonna rent a Winnebago or something, and I'm gonna shove the kids in there, and I'm gonna say, "Come on, kids, we're gonna travel the country and we're gonna visit all mommy stamping friends." Xavier will hate it, but Leah will like it. <laughs> Someone asked me, what do I do with my blending stumps when they get kind of icky from all the color on them? You can get a sanding block. Oh, man, my ink wasn't dry all the way. Anyway, you can get this little stamping block. It's just sandpaper. And when your blending stumps get too inky, you just sand that off of there. And then you have a nice fresh point that you can start over again. And I am using my original blending stump. So these guys are probably about four or five years old and I haven't had to throw one out. Yeah, any sandpaper will work, yep. All right, I'm trying to do this in small increments. Apparently I smeared my black a little bit there, so just be aware of that. And you'll know when your gamsel's dried out. I can't it really explain it to you, but you'll feel that it's not as slick and that your color is not moving anymore. So you go, you do little, little dabs at a time. What are you guys saying? So on the last HSN craft show, I did not purchase anything. I did go back after they sent me the coupon, like I said, it was $10 off, but I got, because you guys enabled me, I got the crafters or the Spectrum Noir alcohol inks and the Yupo paper and the blending solution. So I want to see how they compare to Tim Holtz. It looks like those inks are their Spectrum Noir alcohol marker refills. 
So they're not alcohol inks like regular alcohol inks. They're specifically designed to refill the markers. So that's fine for me. I don't have very many of the markers. So I'm okay with that. I want to see how their Yupo paper and blending solution, if it works the same or doesn't work the same. And then I also rounded out my um, full collection hoarding problem with the rest of the sparkle inks, which I was really only missing like the fall colors and I think some of the pastel colors. And the sparkle inks can also be used to refill the sparkle markers, if you didn't know that. All right, now I'm going to go in with this darker orangey-yellow Tuscan Sun. I have a different one, Stace. Is it going to work the same? So is that what I, what do I have? I have perfect ink refresher. It says for pigment and dye based inks, but it's different. Okay. Okay. I'll have to look at that. Um, sparkle inks are these little pots here. They come in also sparkle pens. If you've seen from Spectrum Noir, um, they're just pots of mica and ink. So basically think of watercolors with a lot of shimmer. All of that is mica. But it comes in a pot so you can um, dip into it with a brush and paint with it. You can pour it into a spritzer and make a spritz with it. Or you can refill your empty Spectrum Noir marker. So they sell sparkle markers, which are these. Um, this is just happens to be a clear one. But you can refill these guys with those. So it's just basically a watercolor with a lot of shimmer, a lot of mica. And for me, I like using them because um, you don't have to get like your, all of your painting supplies out. The markers are just a lot easier to use. These are a little messier than the markers. Sometimes I don't mind getting messy. Just depends on what you're working on. I do like the markers. The markers have a ton of shimmer. They're very easy to use. And it's easy cleanup. All right, back to the butterfly. I'm just going to kind of layer in some color here. I have no idea if this is what color this is supposed to be. I'm not a, what's the bug doctor called? Not a botanist, that's a plant doctor. What's a bug doctor? Isn't that what Ross was on Friends? Wasn't he a bug doctor? Bug scientist. It starts with a B though, right? It's not, botanist is plants. Entomologist, that's it. The ton is the monarch butterfly sold out. She has three different butterflies, right? Um, that's a good question, Charlene. I don't know. I know that I am addicted to their watercolor paper right now, and I'm going to order some more of that. That's it. Entomologist. Insectologist. That sounds better. Oh, Ross was a paleontologist. Is that a dinosaur doctor? Dinosaur scientist. All right. Just went in with some gamsel and just try to blend some of that darker color out. I think maybe I should have used a different ink. 
Uh, maybe it's my imagination. It looks like it's smearing a little bit. So I don't think I dried it long enough. That doesn't look too bad though. You definitely get more. Yes, for sure, Sparkle Mist. The pots have a lot more ink in them. These have, I don't know, a lot of ink. <laughs> I don't know, but it is a lot. Um, oh, it's on the top. Duh, Nance, one ounce. One ounce, and you only get a smidgen of that in the pen, for sure. I also heard you can use baby oil. Yeah, they call this one, yeah, Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly. And I was just kind of copying off of here. It has yellow and some blue in there. Baby oil doesn't work as well. Wow, seven kids. <laughs> Ciao, I see now what you're saying. <laughs> All right, so since I was a little late and we got a little off topic, do you guys want to see the other butterfly? Might as well, right? Okay. Chow, you tell him be quiet. I understand you just fine, Chow. You're my, my sister. Okay, so I'll show you this other guy here. Let's start with, let me grab a colored piece of cardstock because that'll be easier to show. been a while since I've done this, but it really does have a wow effect if you do it correctly. I don't even think we need to stamp it. I think we could just do colored paper. Let me see here. gonna die cut these out of orange. I don't know that we need to stamp anything if we're just gonna do the um, layered butterflies. So I'm just gonna cut these out. You could stamp them and cut them out, but since I have both sets of dies,
Carol. I know, that's the problem I had, Gloria, is I was mailing out like six, seven cards a day and I ran out of postage stamps. And I ordered them from the post office, but it took, let me tell you, the post office is not very quick at shipping stamps. It took like five days to get the stamps from the post office. I actually went to the post office to mail a package and picked up stamps before the stamps arrived. Okay, so this is the outline, which outlines the... Um, stamp or the stamp perfectly so if you wanted to cut out if you wanted to stamp the wings and cut them out you could do that with the outline die and then this other set here hold on before I cut that out one thing I did learn is that you want to have um, You want to put some adhesive on the back of the other wings because they're so intricate. If you don't put the adhesive behind them, there we go. yeah, of course they're going to charge shipping. They put them in a glassine bag for me. They literally wasted, look at how what they wasted. I mean, come on, post office. This is how they sent them to me. They put them in a cardboard thing and wrapped them in plastic. Like, come on, just stick them in an envelope and send them to me. I guess if you're a stamp collector, that's how you want them. Okay, I'm gonna use some light adhesive. We're gonna use some Stick It. Some stick it good. Do, 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 do. Um, another question you guys asked me was, how come you can't see the chat? So if you catch my video on replay and it's live and you don't see chat, you usually only don't see chat when it's a fresh video because YouTube takes a very long time to process the video. I don't exactly know what that means. All I know is when we're done, it takes several hours for them to actually load everything onto YouTube. So even though we're live, you guys saw it, you can go back and watch the replay. Um, you can't see chats for a few hours later and it's just, I don't know, it's just loading everything. I guess saving it in the YouTube world. So I just wanted to make you guys aware that you're not missing the chats. There's nothing you need to do. You just have to wait and then the next day you'll be able to see the chats. I had a couple of you guys ask me that. Do you know that I have been doing lives with you guys since uh, March, not every day since March 19th? I thought that that was pretty cool. I didn't realize that we were on every day since March 19th doing this one hour long or so <laughs> show. So I wanted to thank everybody for coming and hanging out. I know not everybody likes the long videos. And like I said, you can fast forward and skip through them. But I think that so many of you have sent me cards and emailed me and thanked me and said, you know, it's just an hour a day of distraction. And it's more so for me, not just for you guys, for me too. I enjoy spending this time with you guys. All right, so I put some light adhesive on there because we want to cut these out and put them on the orange. So that's why I put the adhesive on first. Now I didn't remove the second sheet of backing. So we wanna keep that on there and then we're gonna run this through our die cutting machine. And we also have his little body, here we go. The little body does not, oh, we don't need the little body. He's got a little body here, Never mind. All right. I 
I actually called the kids today when I was coming back from the grocery store. And I'm like, Leah, you need to get on at 7 o'clock and do the live. And she's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, get on there and say, hi, this is live with Leah. My mom went to the grocery store. And my brother and I are going to make a card for you guys today. <laughs> She was like, Mom, you're crazy. She would have. You guys wouldn't have even known that I wasn't here. <laughs> Xavier didn't want to set up the iPad for her. He's like, nope, I'm not doing it. card base so let's see if I can figure this out correctly it's been a little bit it's been a little bit guys Penny, you're a genius. I did buy some stuff today to bake with the kids, so that's a great idea. Thank you. Penny's making us chocolate chip cookies. I agree with you, Mary. I don't feel like, you know, I'm just crafting to a bunch of strangers. Like, when you guys come on, I'm like, oh, hi, Penny. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Denise. Hi, Stacy. <gasps> Connie, you're a sweetheart. Ciao. Like, I feel like... We're a bunch of people hanging out, having a good time. You guys send me emails. I got an email yesterday with some cute guinea pigs. I think Holly, Holly, I think is who sent me the email with the guinea pigs. They're so cute. Oh, that worked out better than I expected. Yes, I'll take it. Thank you, my little Gemini Junior. Look at all those piece, pieces just fall right out of there. I will say, if you don't have a Gemini Junior, I would put a Gemini Junior above everything else. I would put it above a scan and cut. I would put it above my foiling machine. I, I just, Gemini Junior, I should have bought long time ago. And now I have two of them. So I'm not going to complain. The Gemini Junior is worth every penny. That came out pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. So that's one side. So we didn't even stamp it. This is just by having the two die sets. I mean, the stamp is nice, but you really don't need it if you have the two die sets. Bernie's got Big Daddy. Yes. I don't think I need Big Daddy, but I can see the appeal in that. I just don't. You guys saw I don't have a lot of space on my desk. Maybe if I get some new, like. Like, I wouldn't mind, like, a big L-shaped desk. That would be cool. All right, we'll pop those pieces out later. Let's do this side. Let's see if this side is just as cooperative. All I did was just peel off the backing, and it they all popped out of place, which was cool. My little nubby fingers. See that? They all popped out. That's cool. That's the first time that's ever worked so easy for me. Now I know. A little stick it. And there's some a couple tiny pieces, but nothing really major here to worry about.
Whatever happened to the lady that did the emboss it? Who was that? Teresa Collins. Remember, she's the one who started this whole electronic embossing die cutting machine. And then I feel like everybody else came into the picture and she kind of faded into the background. So now this goes on this side of the wing. And it's pretty easy to line up. You don't need to be like, oh, I got to have it perfect. You just line up the outer edge and then stick it down. And then with stick it adhesive, you want to burnish it down so it's all in place. There's one little tiny one right here. Pull that right out. Okay, and then here's the magical part. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. Is that these to interlock. So there's a little slit in his body here. Whoops, camera nance. See the little slit? And then there's a little slit down here. So you line the slits up. Like this. Make sure those black rectangles are behind the butterfly. See the black rectangles? The black rectangles go behind the butterfly. The two slits line together. If your slits are open, I got a closed slit, you guys. <laughs> okay, let me fix that. <laughs> Oops. Okay, rectangles in the back. Okay, so now we have this butterfly. Now, if you want to keep it this way, you can certainly keep it this way. You don't have to do anything further with it. But the beauty of these dies is that when you put them in the crease of a card, this okay so I have a little stick it left on the back of there right is that this will and some people it bothers that the the head is not attached you can attach it if you want um, and just for the little stick, the little stick that's behind his body there, right here, put a little bit of um, anti-static powder on there, and then that will um, unstick it. Because you don't want that, you don't want the body sticking to your card. Little corn starch on there. Okay, so now when they when the recipient gets the card. That's what I was trying not to have happen. What I usually do is I'm going to put a little dab of glue on here. I keep the bodies together. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Okay. So I like to pinch mine together there. And then once they are stuck together, where's my little clamp? Clamp. Clamp. Okay. Once they stick together and the bodies don't stick to the card, they close very nicely on the card. So it's a really nice impact when you're making a card. If you don't like 
the black showing back there, you just take some white cardstock and you put you just butt this white cardstock up against your card here. And then they'll never see those um they'll never see those rectangles. Okay, so I think that's pretty good now. And then come on. He's not cooperating. Believe me, it works when you when you get it right. Oh, his, I see. His tail is stuck to the card. There we go. But anyway, it does make an impact. Like I said, you can put a little piece of card back here to cover up the rectangle like that. And you put it on both sides. And then when they get the card, it does open up. It's very pretty. I like cutting the wings out of holographic or foil paper and then putting that black on top. It looks pretty. And then I take the stamp and I do a half a wing. I do a half a wing on the front here and then whatever my sentiment's going to be. So if I'm, if I stamp a half right here and then I do like a happy birthday, hello, or whatever you're going to do there. And when they open it up, they don't expect this 3D butterfly to pop out at them. So you, you, the stamp is nice, but if you can't get the stamp, if the two dies are available, that's all you really need to make this. Um, and this is, again, from the ton. This one is called Butterfly Wings Monarch. And then I don't think the name is on the dies here, but it's two sets of dies. Couture cuts. So the solid die comes with, I mean, the outline die comes with the wings. Yeah, there's no name on here. And then the, the um, bigger wings do the outline and they do the body and they, they fold in. And you could cut that off. If you don't want, you don't need that, you could cut that folding part off. You don't need to have that, but it's it's pretty cool. So let me see if I can finish this off here. Now I... I messed up his tail because it got all stuck together, and that's why he's not opening and closing correctly. So I'll put some glue on here. Well, that piece is just going to continue to stick. And there's nothing I can do about it. But anyway, you guys get the idea. It really isn't that hard. And 
it does fold completely flat as they fold on each other. And then, like I said, you just stamp the outside and you're done. Looks like a two-headed butterfly because I didn't line them up right. <laughs> so if you're into butterflies, apparently tonight's theme was butterflies. So this one you can pick up from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Again, you get 20% off with the code 2020. This is the Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly. You get the large and the small butterfly. Good night, Stephanie. Red rubber made in the United States. And then this one, when it comes back in stock, this is a Blue Night Rubber, I'm sorry, the Ton, the Ton Butterfly with two sets of dies. So you can get the stamp and then the two dies, the outer die and then the, I'm going to call it the 3D die. But I understand this is sold out, so I'll keep an eye out. If I see it back in stock, I'll definitely let you guys know. <laughs> it's a two-headed butterfly you guys it's the mothman so thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight i really appreciate it and uh you know it's hit me it's hit home now but um i will definitely be in good spirits and i will be with you guys for the next two weeks and if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to post them down below. I always answer if you would like to send me an email. The email is nancystamps15 at gmail.com. Mod Squad Challenge starts today. You have to have something with birds. Something with birds. And you can't just like stamp out a image and then throw birds in the background. I want to see birds as part of your focal image. If you use kitchen sink stamps, you get double entries and you could win up to $25 or you could win a $25 gift card from kitchen sink stamps. So um, thank you guys. And I appreciate you guys all being here with me every night since March 19th. I love you guys. Stay safe. Join the mod squad challenge. Oh, I didn't put the links on Connie. I will do that now. It's because YouTube was taking so long to load. So I will go do that right now. I'll go do today's links and yesterday's links. So give me about a half an hour. What were you looking for again, Connie? I will put the, I got to rewatch the video and then I'll link it. Yes, I will link kitchen sink stamps. When you guys use my link for um, kitchen sink stamps, it does, I do get an, an affiliate link with it, which means I get a very small commission, but it helps me to know what you guys like. And also it helps Maria know what you guys like so she can manufacture more stamps. And also, um, I actually use that as store credit and I buy more stamps for you guys. Connie says the glitter. Okay. I will take care of it. All right, guys. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys back tomorrow night. If you like this video, don't forget the thumbs up. Bye. Yes, you can use any stamps for the Mod Squad Challenge, Stacy. You just get extra points if you use kitchen sink stamps. But any stamps can be used. Yes, ma'am. Good night, guys. can't leave it alone. I gotta sparkle it up. It's gonna be a sparkly, sparkly card. All right. Okay, I'm logging off now, guys, for real. Peace out. Right, sunshine. Peace. Bye, Jennifer.